In these questions, the square given at the beginning is folded in the way indicated by the arrows. Holes are then punched as shown in the final diagram. Identify the answer option that shows where the punched holes will be when the square has been unfolded. In order to answer this question, we begin by folding that square of paper. We begin with the square like this, and we take the bottom left-hand corner over towards the top right-hand corner using this diagonal line as a fold line. The resulting triangular shape like this is folded again. This time, a diagonal fold line like this is used. This bottom corner folds over towards the top like so. And this is the result. Then that triangular shape is folded again, this time with a vertical fold line. So this corner is folded over to this corner, and this is the result. Then two holes are punched, a circular hole and a triangular hole like so. As we unfold the piece of paper, try to visualise where the holes will be. It's best to imagine the folding happening in reverse. The final fold we made here will be the first part which we unfold. It means that these two holes will be reflected onto this side using this vertical fold line as a mirror or reflection line. So the triangle will be reflected something like this and the circle will be something like this. Shapes which are closer to that fold line will be closer on the opposite side and those which are further away will be further away on the opposite side too. When we use a vertical fold line as a mirror or reflection line, we flip the shape from left to right or right to left. So the triangle pointing towards the left here is pointing towards the right here. Now we'll reverse this fold which we made second. So everything on this side will now be reflected over onto this side. Think about where you would expect to see the holes this time. They will of course be reflected onto the opposite side. So the circle will be here, the triangle will be here, a further triangle will be here, and a circle will be here. You can see that everything on this side represents a reflection of everything on this side. Finally, we'll unfold the square completely. And this means that everything on this side will now be reflected onto this side using this diagonal fold line as a mirror or reflection line. Think about where the holes will be this time. Remember those which are closer to the fold line will be closer on the opposite side and those which are further away will be further away on the opposite side too. So the triangles will now be positioned like this and like this and then like this and like this, forming a pattern. Consider the answer options. In option A, you can see the original holes we started with. They were reflected like this when we unfolded this section. Then those four holes were reflected like this when we unfolded this section. And then each of the holes on this side are reflected over onto this side once we unfolded the square completely. Option A could be the right answer. In B, you can see that the holes we started with are incorrectly placed. Look at the position of this hole and compare it to the position of this hole. It means that we can immediately eliminate B. Because the holes are incorrectly punched to begin with, B cannot be the right answer. As soon as you spot an error, move on to the next answer option. In C, you can see the holes here are reflected over here, but then as we unfolded this section, these four holes should be reflected over here. The circles are missing, and that means option C must be incorrect. I don't need to check the position of the remaining holes. As soon as we spot an error, we can move on. In D, the holes we started with here are correct. They are reflected correctly here when we unfold this section. Those four holes, however, should be reflected over here. And although these two are correct, as is this one, this circular hole should be a triangle, and therefore D is incorrect. In E, the two holes we start with are correct, but their initial reflection here when we unfold this section is not correct. This hole should be a circle to reflect this one.
so E can't be the right answer either. This means that A was the correct answer to this question. To help you visualise this more clearly, I'll now show you how this would look using a real piece of paper. We start then with that square piece of paper. The bottom left hand corner is folded up towards the top right hand corner using a diagonal fold line to do so. The resulting triangular shape is folded again. This time this corner is folded over to meet this corner and this diagonal fold line is used to do so. The resulting triangle is folded once again. This corner is folded over towards this corner using a vertical fold line like this. And this is the result. And into that we know a circular hole and a triangular hole are punched. Like this. Then we unfold the final fold we made. Meaning that the triangle here is reflected here and the circular hole here is reflected here. When we unfold again like this, those four holes are reflected like this. If you find it tricky to visualise what a diagonal fold line means for reflecting shapes on one side, try to imagine turning the piece of paper so that this line becomes vertical or horizontal, as this may help you visualise where the holes would be on the opposite side. When we finally unfold the piece of paper completely, everything which was on this side is now reflected on this side, with holes which are further away from the fold line being further away on the opposite side. This was just as we saw in option A, which means A was the right answer to this question. Top tip. It may be useful to try to imagine the folding process happening in reverse. The final fold will unfold first and the fold line will act as a mirror line reflecting the holes which were punched. The next fold will reflect those holes and so on until the square is completely unfolded. You can now try a second similar question. Remember, the square given at the beginning is folded in the way indicated by the arrows. Holes are then punched as shown in the final diagram. Identify the answer option that shows where the punched holes will be when the square has been unfolded. Here is the question for you to try. Once again, we start with that square piece of paper, which is folded like this, using this diagonal fold line. The resulting triangular shape is then folded again, once again with a diagonal fold line. This corner folds over to this corner, and this is the result. That triangular shape is folded once more, this side folded over to this side, this time using a vertical fold line. Then a heart-shaped hole is punched like this. You need to decide which one of these five answer options you should choose. Where would the holes be placed once the piece of paper is completely unfolded? Pause the video and have a go at this question. You should aim to select your answer within 30 seconds. When you have chosen an answer, press play and we'll go over it together. To answer this question then, you should have considered how the piece of paper is folded in this direction, and then in this direction, and then again in this direction. Once the hole is punched, the first part of the piece of paper you would unfold will be the final fold that you made like this. So in other words, this piece will fold out like this. Where would you expect to see the hole when you unfold it for the first time? It would be a reflection, of course, and it would be positioned something like this. Its orientation has changed from this way to this way because we used a vertical fold line, so it means the shape flips from left to right or right to left. Now those two heart-shaped holes would once again be reflected when we unfolded in this direction. Where would you expect to see them positioned? One hole would of course be positioned over here. This would be a reflection of this one. Where would the second one be? It would be positioned like this. It would be a reflection of this one. 
If we use a diagonal fold line like this and you find it tricky, you can imagine turning the paper so that the fold line is either vertical or horizontal, and this may help you. Then when we finally unfold the piece of paper completely, these four holes will now be reflected onto this side of the piece of paper. We would expect to see the following. The hearts which are closer to the mirror or fold line will be closer on the opposite side, so these two heart shapes will be like this. The two which are further away will also be further away on the opposite side, and will be positioned something like this. Look at the answer options. You can see that A has the original hole, which is reflected completely correctly like this. But those two holes are not reflected correctly over here as we unfold in this direction. You can see that this heart is the wrong way round. A can therefore be eliminated. As soon as you spot an error, you can move on to the next answer option. In B, once again, this hole is correct and it's reflected correctly here. This hole reflects to make this one, but this hole should be reflected over here and it's missing so B can't be correct either. In C, we start with the correct hole here, reflected correctly here. This hole is reflected over here, but once again, there is a hole missing here, which should be this one reflected like this, so C can be eliminated too. D starts with the correct hole, but this hole is not correctly reflected over here, so D can be eliminated straight away. Remember, as soon as you spot an error, you can eliminate the answer option and move on. E, though, has this heart-shaped hole correctly reflected like this. These two holes are reflected over here, and these four holes are reflected over here, just as we would expect to see. It means that E is the right answer, and to help you visualise this more clearly, I can now show you this using a real piece of paper. We start with that square piece of paper. The bottom left hand corner is folded up towards the top right hand corner using a diagonal fold line to do so. The resulting triangle is folded once again from this corner over towards this corner using this diagonal fold line to do so. And the resulting shape is folded once more. This corner folds over towards this corner this time using a vertical fold line. And this is the resulting shape into which that heart-shaped hole is punched. Like this. We then begin to unfold, starting with the final fold we made. Meaning the heart-shaped hole here is reflected like this, using that vertical fold line as a mirror or reflection line. And when we unfold in this direction, the two heart-shaped holes here are reflected over here, using this diagonal line as a mirror or reflection line. And when we finally unfold the piece of paper completely, those four heart-shaped holes are reflected over onto this side of the piece of paper, using this diagonal fold line as a mirror or reflection line. And this was just as we saw in option E, which means E was the right answer to this question.